Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my favourite lip liners. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on some of my favourite lip liners. This was requested by one of our wonderful Slap family and yeah, I just thought I'd do it. I also wanted to break up all of the new releases. They're probably getting a bit boring now. I've got like three more to come and I felt like it probably might be a bit more interesting, a bit more fun to see something different. So I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite lip liners. Most of them are brown. Just putting it out there, just letting you know. So first up guys is my favourite pairing, Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude and the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk Intense. So this is the Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. It's a really, really nice colour. For all skin tones, you can wear this a different way. So if you're a lighter, fairer skin tone, you can wear this all over your lips. If you're a deeper skin tone, this is really, really good for an ombre. I tend to ombre this with the Pillow Talk Intense, which is my favourite combination. So this is it here. They do last a pretty long time. I do have others that last longer. I'd say that the Pat McGrath ones are a bit more long lasting than these, but these are just the perfect colours for me. They're very creamy, they're easy to go on, they do dry down to quite a nice powdery finish, but they're very easy to apply and they're actually really affordable for Charlotte Tilbury. So that is the Pillow Talk Intense, it's a nice rich shade. In the middle I'm just going to pop the Iconic Nude, which is a perfect nudey, mauvey nudey shade, but also a really good one for all skin tones, especially if you are fair skin tone, it will be a really nice nude for you as well. As you can see, it's a really nice combination and you can use the Iconic Nude to make the Pillow Talk Intense as light or as not light as you want it to. So I do really like these two together. Next up is my second favourite combination and I like both of these a lot together. I feel like they perfectly balance each other out. The Kia Wise Nude Naturally Lip Pencil and it's in the shade Deep. Kiwis are an organic beauty company and I was really, really impressed with the colour. I like to pair this with the Essential Lip Pencil from Wayne Goss. This one is a very, very coaly, powdery lip liner. It's not as creamy and as soft as the others, but it's really got a lot of staying power. This is the shade Sepia. I really like the fact that with Wayne Goss, all of his lip pencils, the actual pencil is coloured the same as the pencil inside. It's quite smart, so it's really helpful if you've got a few, you can kind of find which one you're looking for. And they're just quite funky and fun. And I really like the Kia Wise. I think they're very chic, very luxurious looking. I love the lids of these. They're kind of like their lids all across their products. I'm going to show you guys these on. going to top it up with the Wayne Goss. Next guys are the brown lip liners. I have one which is Charlotte Tilbury's Foxy Brown. I actually never used to like this lip liner but it's a really good invisible lip liner for me and it's a really nice soft brown if you are a fairer skin tone as well. So this is Foxy Brown. So this is Foxy Brown, as you can tell it's very subtle. It basically looks like I've got nothing on but it does just give me a bit of definition and it does just neutralize my natural lip color which is a bit deeper than this. Next up I have the Pat McGrath Labs Ground Control Lip Liner. It's very long lasting. And 
another Pat McGrath lip liner that I do really like, but this is a reddish one, and I only really use this if I'm going if I'm going for like a red or a kind of burgundy. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Manhattan. This is another really good long-lasting lip liner. That is Manhattan on. It doesn't really bright on, but it's actually not. It looks really good with red lipsticks whenever I wear red lipsticks. Obviously, I don't wear them very much because they don't genuinely suit me, as you can probably tell from this lip liner. But of all the reds, this is my favorite red. So that is the Pat McGrath Manhattan, a very nice red lip liner if red lip liners are your thing. And last but not least, my the original lip liner for me, the one that started it all, that started my love affair with lip liners and kind of just gave me confidence to wear lighter shades, other colours that I wasn't necessarily comfortable wearing and when I'd kind of made a boo-boo and bought the wrong shade. This kind of saved my bacon every single time. It's a perfect lip liner. It's just the best. This is the MAC Chestnut. This is one of two. I don't know where the other one is. Obviously, you can tell that I really do love this very much and I always have it in my bag. So this is MAC Chestnut. As you can see, MAC Chestnut is really the thing that everything was based on. The MAC one did come first, so the Kia Wise one is very similar to it. The Pillow Talk Intense is very similar to it, and the Pat McGrath Ground Control is very similar to it as well. If I only had to save one thing in my makeup, it would be MAC Chestnut because it deserves my love. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo. It's a perfect base for any mauve, nudie lipstick, anything you've got that you just want to ground. It is so good for that. And I will demonstrate that to you right now. I've got a very, very light lipstick from Pat McGrath, which is the Omi lipstick. This is it on its own. This is it with Mac Chestnut. And that is the beauty of MAC Chestnut. It literally makes any lipstick that's just a bit off, a bit wrong, a bit too light, a bit too whatever. This just makes it so much better. So yeah, from this to this. It basically makes, ev makes everything suit you, especially if you are a deep skin tone. It just makes everything look better. So MAC Chestnut is the original and the one that started my love affair with lip liners. So it felt only fitting to finish on it. But yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. I would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.